the backstage area led to Lupino's inner sanctum. The hot air inside was like an invisible wall, thick with incense and something else, a sickly sweet smell that made you gag. This was the rotten core of the Big Apple. Lupino lurked somewhere ahead, like a spider at the center of his web, waiting. The vapors in the air started to make my head swim. Oh, geez, Torn yeah. pieces of a letter lay scattered on the sofa. Son of a- yeah, look, look at this, guys, everyone. Shit's getting serious. That's no sarcasm. Let's have a look at this. Punchinello had threatened Lupino in writing. The note had been torn to pieces, bloody fingerprints all over them. Don't want you to think that one of my boys is not playing with a full deck. Shape up, Jack. We are running a business here. I'd hate to send the trio to strong arm you. The trio were the Don's notorious henchmen. It was obvious that Lupino hadn't been intimidated by the threat. Lupino's a fucking psycho. Lupino's notes covered the table. Jack Lupino was crazy, all right. The table was scattered with notes of demented arcane nonsense written in rusty blood. A mishmash list of demons, devils, and dark gods evoked. Beelzebub! Asmodeus! Baphomet! Lucifer! Loki, Chitulu, Lilith, Hela! Blood given to you all. He was after that old Faustian deal, your soul for power and fortune. Just sign in the dotted line with your blood. Yep. Lupino's notebook lay on the pedestal. Jack Lupino was crazy, all right. Mythic wolves let loose to devour the sun and the moon. Lupino is the wolf. I'm Mr. Beast, the big bad Fenris wolf. I'm the end of the world man, wearing the flesh of fallen angels. After Y2K, the end of the world had become a cliche. But who was I to talk? A brooding underdog avenger alone against an empire of evil, out to right a grave injustice. Everything was subjective. There were only personal apocalypses. Nothing is a cliche when it's happening to you. See, Max Payne makes the money flesh the of fallen angels come to me all. Astaroth, Beelzebub, Asmodeus, Baphomet, Lucifer, Loki, Satan, Chitulu, Lilith, Ella. Blood to you all. Secret living under the skin of reality. Let's save it now because. Here we have Jack Lupino howling. Pool of blood. Or a fountain of blood. Lot of stuff. You can tell what's happening here. This is the showdown. It's now! I will rise to her side! I don't need the words! I'm beyond the words! Beyond words, apparently. Right. That bell. Alright, Molotovs have just been thrown at me. There's a guy with a punk action. There's gonna be no one here but Lupino's goons themselves. Ah! Gotta watch those, they're coming down off there. Whoa. Just been shot by a barrette. Have a here a second. Scratch that. Pop action. Pretty good dodge there. Trying to use the sawn off. There's an Ingram. Oh my god. This is one of the most, one of the best bits in most games, really. This is just so unnerving, that constant bell. The fact that the guys are wearing all black themselves. They're not quite full gothic, but. But jeez, you got the fountain of blood, the whole gothic scenery. And there's a Beretta being fired at me, he's above me. 
way up. Right, I'm going to try to move over to the other side to force him down. Pump action being fired at me from somewhere. I'm going to try to use the dual barrettas to get him down. Apparently not. I don't need the words! I'm beyond the words! I mean, that bell. That bell. Just pretty god damn unnerving, right? I'm going to use the dual barrettas for this bit. Pretty damn weak, but it's pretty versatile for the situation. Let's see if the goon should have spawned by now. Oh. There we go. Okay, apparently that, that those molotovs hurt me, even though they were nowhere near me. On. There's the eagle ammo's full. Guess I'm using that then. Crap, he's covered pretty well. Come on. That bell. That bell is the signal that they're after me. Okay, I think someone's just set themselves on fire. That's all good, but there's still some alive. Like him, for example, who has just successfully hit me a few times with about two Ingram bullets. Every time that bell, like, the bell signifying the enemies, rings, it still sends shivers down me. Alright. There you are. And neither of the bullets hit. There we are. Oh no, I'm facing Ingrams, are you kidding me? Right, he's dead, saving, because I'm cornered against the Ingram. He's clearly not gonna... Nope, there's a pump action waiting for me. Oh, he's right there! He's only got a Beretta? Wait. One of them's... Oh great, two shotguns now. Not good, not good, not good. There we are. You'll die eventually. Uh, where's the other guy? Ha, ah, sawn off. Just control my fire rate, that'll help. Should I use, yeah, should I use a single Ingram just to try and control my ammo? Alright, I think they're all on the other side now, anyway, so. Another save. Yep, there he is. Ingram refuses to hit, all the bullets just want to go around him, not into him. Right, he's throwing Molotovs down at me. Dick, move. Crap, I've just took probably a wasted that Ingram ammo. Let's see if I can get him with the Desert Eagle. There we are. There he is. I had known there'd have to be a catch in it somewhere, and this one was the Empire State Building of catches. 
Levino just pumped up and dying to go 15 rounds with a mutant alligator. And then he started this spooky monkey talk, straight from a bad dream. Mine. I have tasted the flesh of fallen angels. I've tasted the devil's green blood. It runs in my veins. I've seen beyond a world of skin, the architecture of blood and bow and arrow. Death is coming! She is coming, and hell follows with her. This is the twilight winter. I am ready to be her son. <laughs> her time is now, and all who stand in her way must die! <laughs> You'll Challenge die. accepted. Die. Now. Die. Challenge accepted. Come at me, bro. Alright, this is probably the worst way I could do it. Come at me, Lupino. Okay, he came at me and I died. That was pretty... Like I said, that was pretty dumb of me. Lupino, just me and you now. Come at me, bro. Just gotta keep dodging and... You can't see, but I'm flipping him off because, you know... When Lupino finally went down, I wanted to make real sure he'd stay that way. V was a bad monster. Turned them into friggin' zombie demons from outer space. I think he's dead already. Huh? And that's when it happened. But dead or not, you've got the wrong guy. In stepped this knockout femme fatale holding a gun to my face. I returned the favor. A cold day in hell. Lisa Punchinello. Lisa Punchinello was the Don's wife. Mona Sachs. Lisa's evil twin. Your safety's off, evil twin. You might hurt someone with that gun of yours. Lisa's the damsel in distress. I'm the professional. I'd blow you away without batting an eye. Sure, and you can check out my credentials splattered all over this joint. Jack couldn't have framed you. Not the state he was in. We're after the same slime bag. Angelo Punchinello's the one who murdered your friend and framed you with it. You know this for a fact. I've got my sources. I don't have a clue these days. I just shoot them as they come. Who put a contract on the Archfiend? This one's mine. I hate the guts of that sadistic wife-beater. Why not pool our bullets for this one? I thought you'd never ask. My finger was starting to twitch. How do you like your whiskey? I'm easy, as long as you don't try to slip me a Mickey. You're a real angel, Max. It was good stuff. Tasted sweet as honey going down. Nothing personal. Can't risk you going berserk and getting Lisa killed. <laughs> oh shit. Wrong checkpoint!